Hi everyone. Um, I am just sneaking on real quick today. You may hear my children in the background. Um, I'm in my teens room. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you kind of what I've been working on lately. Um, but this morning, um, I was going through my son's art pads, which I do pretty frequently. And, um, I find pages that I love because they're so prolific. I mean, they're always working real fast. This is my four-year-old. Actually, I think this is my two-year-old did this. Um, but they do so much art. And then eventually, you know, you kind of usually toss it, right, moms? Because it's just, there's too much. You can't possibly hold on to it. Or... What I like to do is I've been going through their pads and tearing out the pages. This is actually a pad that my father sent my teens that my little ones have been using. It's just a Strathmore sketch pad. And, you know, I'll go through, find pages that I love and just kind of fold them in half like so right and and then I'll just get them going and cut them I'll I actually usually do this with the Tim Holtz deco maker his cutting tool this is my second video by the way I just did one a while ago but I just looked at it and I thought oh my gosh that's so long and I don't want to bore people, so I think I just moved the camera. Anyway, so what you'll just kind of get a whole bunch of pages pre-folded, like so, and I start putting them into signatures. Like I'll just start building these little signatures and I'll have them on hand. And then at a certain point later in the year when I feel like, oh, I have enough, I can bind this into a little book for my son or, you know, something like this. This makes a great gift for Mother's Day or Grandparents' Day or even a teacher at the end of the year. Um, you know, you can bind pages together with just punching some holes and putting some string through it. Um, and then you could tape the signatures together easily with some washi tape. You know, there's, there's so many quick, easy ways to bind them. But what I like to do personally is I steal them for myself because, of course, in this house, my son already has enough of those drills <laughs> and there's still more paper left over. So I'll steal his pages and put them in my own journal this is one that I make also this is combined with his pages and then when I have a box of just collage papers that when it gets too full I'll take the papers out and fold them into journal pages for myself so this is another one of his pages you can see he wrote his name so I'll save everything and he's so funny the way he works like he went through a gradient stage where he just put color on pages and I loved his stuff. So I started saving it. And like his black and white scribbles. Like it's just so cool to have it in a book. So that when I go to work on this journal. It's it's not just my art. It's his art too. And there's a lot to be said for having some sort of connection to the pages. I mean I just love the way his little brain thinks. So anyway, here's another one of his gradient spreads. I just, I just love it. So anyway, moms or anybody who interacts with littles, this is just such a great way to kind of collect um, the art and put it together. Um, just a fun, fun idea. And then lately, um, my first video had way too much explanation, so I'm just keeping everything shorter. <laughs> Um, I've been less able to kind of work in the way that I've been working on my Instagram feed. And part of that is just what's been going on behind the scenes with the house sale and everything like that. It's been a little crazy, um, trying to 
get dates to match up and times to match up. So it's just been a little hectic. So that being said, um, I took a class from Andrea Chablot of a work of art studio, which I'll put in the video's description. Um, but I'm just going to write it down too, because I may be mispronouncing her name. And, um, I think that's it. And her Instagram is a work of heart studio. And she has a link to her shop. She actually has a store in San Jose and also to her um, online videos. And she has one that I just took called, I'll write this down too, The Daily Creative Practice journal and I took this class because Wendy of Willow Wanders had said she had taken it and I had had a quick conversation with her about finding a planner system that kind of worked and I've been wanting to do planners all my life I get them every year and then are you this person you just don't finish it by March it's done so that's me and I've really recently needed something because with all the appointments that we've been having, I need to um, collect this information somewhere so I don't lose it. <laughs> I mean, I put it in my phone, but I need a visual reference as well. So I um, took her class and it's a really wonderful class. I can't recommend it enough. And you create these 12 month pamphlets with two covers. And the idea is you can use it however you want. There's a calendar. You could make a calendar in the beginning as I did. And then you can also do weekly spreads, monthly spreads for each month. And, you know, she talks about doing tip-ins. So like it was my birthday this month. Um, so I put some of the birthday cards that people sent or made me. Just little things like that, which is just kind of a fun way to think. I even made a moving list, which I haven't really put much on <laughs> because I don't know when I'm moving. It's just so up in the air. But anyway, the, the one thing that I loved about this class is I decided to just keep it really simple and do abstract art. And I really just went to the colors that brought me the most joy right? Because colors even can just bring you comfort and, and peace, which sounds lame, but it's really true. So I've been living in this color story lately. It's Dina's, um, Dina Wakely turquoise and cheddar, and then a, like a neon pink. I've been loving them. Um, and you know, I've mixed in some other colors, but making this journal has just brought me so much joy because I've been able to just work abstractly with colors, creating patterns, um, different techniques for breaking up the weeks. And it's just been where I've been finding comfort. I'm using stickers that I used to have. Um, it's just been so much fun. I got some stamps from Julie Faye Fa Fan Balzer. These are um, her monthly stamps with Impression Obsession, I think. Um, so I've just been having so much fun. Some of my collage day product project is in here. And I love this book. Like, it just brings me so much comfort to, like, go to it every day and put something in there, either something that just happened or is coming up. It's just been the first time in my life that a planner is really connected with me. And I think it's because I have the connection of making these pages from scratch. And then mm -hmm. later in the year, the idea is you bind your planner in the fourth quarter of the year um, because it will have been as filled up as it's probably going to get. But in the meantime, I found that the Dina Wakely journal bands, the small ones, fit great around it. And they look so beautiful, so I've been doing that as well. Um, and also, I've been feeling a need to just do more book binding. So I've been doing a lot with that, just making journals. I made this fun one just the other night with some supplies from Um Wow Studio, uh, Dee Dee. 
uh, Katrin sent those to me and I really, really loved like her washi tape. She sent some of this beautiful kind of sari ribbon maybe and chipboard. So I've been having fun just kind of playing with these structures. I'll do a flip through of this when I'm finished, but I, you know, I kind of just got started. But anyway, that's kind of what I've been working on. And, you know, I just thought, especially since it's the end of the year for school people, um, it could be fun to like get a collection of all your kids art or your grandchildren's art and put something together as a gift for whoever or yourself like me. Um, and that's kind of where I'm at. So I'm hoping going forward that maybe I can do more of a weekly blog or a bi-weekly blog and keep them short. My other video was so long for those of you who already watched it. So, you know, I'm not going to take too much of your time. But anyway, I hope you're all well and um, thank you so much for watching.